Hello everyone, it's Lara. So today I'm going to share with you all the products I've hit pan on. So I don't have that many things, which is kind of sad. I really want to fix that going forward. I feel like I'm the kind of person who struggles with hyper-focusing on a product to completion and spreading my uses throughout my collection. And I want to be better about that. I feel like it's mostly because I usually do a pan that palette which I still want to do, but I think next year I'm going to pick a palette that has smaller pan sizes. That way maybe I can have a better balance. I also did try doing an eyeshadow project pan last year where I tried to hit pan on an eyeshadow from different palettes. It didn't go so well. I have a lot of Too Faced shadows, which are notorious for being hard to hit pan on. So that doesn't really help either. But anyway, let me show you what I have. So let's start with maybe the most boring thing and that was my Pan That palette from this year. You, I just posted my finale, so you've already seen these, but there are three shadows in here that I've hit pan on. This one, Chocolate Milk, Bluff, and there's a little baby pan and Woolen Mittens. And I did finish three, but I suppose those would count as empties. I do have a pan from my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette in the shade Habit. <laughs> I'm trying to cover this shade because it's in a project. I don't want to spoil it, but I have pan in that one. I have pan in this Clinique Duo in this pink shade. This duo is called Frosted Blossom. I don't even remember when or where I got this from. If I had to guess, it was a gift with purchase, probably from Macy's. I have Pan in this palette, this Too Faced White Chocolate Chip palette in the shade Guilt Free. Some nice Pan there. I have Pan in this Too Faced palette, the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. So this was in that eyeshadow project pan I tried doing last year. I hit pan in this glitter shade, Pink Sugar. Probably the only reason I hit pan in that is because this shade is a crumbly mess. Probably took less time than a usual Too Faced shadow. This shade has a massive dip in it, but no pan there. <laughs> only this one. And the only other palette from that project that I hit pan in is this Milani Pure Passion palette. I hit pan in the shade Totally Fawn of You, and it's only the littlest baby pan. And the last two eyeshadows I hit pan in are two ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I have Birthday Cake. This is an ultra glitter. I think out of all of the Super Shock shadows I have, this is my favorite color. I'm a sucker for a dusty pink. And I have Pan in this one. This is called Truth, and this is a satin. So those are all of the eyeshadows I have Pan in. I do have a Pan in a blush, and this is from Emit Makeup. This blush is massive, but I was able to hit pan in it. And I do have a pan in a bronzer. It's the bronzer I'm working on this year. It's in this Too Faced palette. A little bit of a spoiler for my Pokemon Project pan, but this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer I was working on. I repressed it, and then I was able to hit pan in it again. So there's that. I don't have any pan in any highlighters or face powders. So the only other thing is this kind of miscellaneous item is this primer from CanMake. I was able to hit side jar. So those are all the things I have pan in. So I was able to hit pan in nine eyeshadows, one blush, one bronzer, and a primer. 
So in total, that is 12 items. So like I said, I'm really hoping next year I can get even more pans. But for now, that's everything. I'll see you next time. Bye!